As for the strokes themselves, we talked about that already in a way because with the suspended upper arm, I said it swings back, so the shoulder socket from the not to the middle by balance, if the shoulder socket opens and closes, that gives you the lower half H notes, not from the middle by balance, the elbow opens and closes together, and that gives you the upper half eighth note. Look how beautifully the elbow joint controls the wrist. You don't have to move the wrist because it controls it here. Now when we do the whole bow, the four count, the whole note, then what we do is again we use only the two uh, 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 the two joints. The shoulder joints opens for one, two. The elbow joints opens for three, four. Now, in order to foreshorten the arm with the upstroke, you open the shoulder joint a little bit, one, two, and close the uh, elbow together for three, four. So the four count is open, 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 open. Open, open, close, close. The three count, the dotted half note, is the shoulder joint opens one, two, the elbow joints open three, the shoulder joints opens one, two, the elbow joints shut three. The two count is shoulder joints, elbow joints, shoulder joints, elbow joints. Now, the quarter notes are tricky because fast bowing can make the bow judder. So instead of that, it is an amalgamated swing uh, through the whole arm, starting in the shoulder socket and followed by the elbow joint. Here we go. And here the violin ring. Thank you very, very much. These are the major important strokes. Then I will show you a little deviation from them. Thank you very much for your help.